and we don't know what to do. The Guam National Guard's 94th Civil Support Team conducted exercises throughout the day. Over a dozen federal and local first responders participated in simulated scenarios at various locations. The Country Peligro Exercise is a two-day training event consisting of chemical, biological, and radiological scenarios which test interagency response capabilities. 94th CST spokesperson Captain Joseph Connolly. More important is just maintaining and uh, strengthening the relationships with our first responders. Currently there's going to be about 20 agencies and not all agencies are first responders. But the relationships we developed in the past, we continue to strengthen through exercises just like this. One of the scenarios tested first responders' capabilities to handle wounded civilians involved in an explosion. National Guard spokesperson Captain Ken Ola. The scenario here down at um, the Nimitz Golf Course, uh, uh, there's supposed to be a conference and there's uh, folks that were, uh, for some reason there's a chemical substance that was inside the building and forced them out and as soon as they came out and they a lot of them were injured or I think maybe some of them were killed by an explosion. In other scenarios played out, first responders were faced with active shooter scenarios, chemical, biological and radiological scenarios, managing the aftermath, responding to the injured and ultimately subduing the terrorist group responsible. The country Peligro exercise involves a series of scenarios being played out throughout our island. From live shooters to explosive devices, it's events such as this that help prepare our first responders to respond to real-life situations. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.